We're going to go to the White House now and new questions about that nuclear summit between President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. President now says there's a very substantial chance it won't take place on June 12th as foreign journalists head to North Korea to witness the destruction of a nuclear test site by the North Koreans. Our senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega is tracking all the latest. Good morning, Cecilia. George, good morning to you. That is the big question here this morning. Will it or will it not happen? The president says his meeting with Kim Jong-un might not happen. One thing is clear, its future hangs in the balance. In the Oval Office with South Korea's president by his side, President Trump cast a shadow over his summit with Kim Jong-un, saying it could be delayed or altogether canceled. There's a very substantial chance that it won't work out, and that's okay. That doesn't mean it won't work out over a period of time. But it may not work out for June 12th. With North Korea threatening to back out, the president also raised the possibility of backing down from a key U.S. demand, complete and immediate denuclearization. It would certainly be better if it were all in one. Does it have to be? I don't think I want to totally commit myself, but all in one would be a lot better. So what went wrong? President Trump blames Kim's recent trip to China, saying the North Korean leader changed his tune after meeting with the Chinese president. I think there was a little change in attitude from Kim Jong-un, so I don't like that. I don't like that. The president's secretary of state, Mike Pompeo, who has twice met with Kim, now says he's not willing to bet on the future of a summit. I'm not a betting man, <laughs> so I, I wouldn't care to predict whether it will happen, only to predict um, that uh, we'll be ready in the event that it does. While President Trump continues to offer a dictator like Kim assurances, like protection and safety. We will guarantee his safety. He will be safe. He will be happy. His country will be rich. OK, here's where things stand at this hour. South Korean officials say there is a 99.9% chance that this summit will take place. But I am told less than two weeks ago, a North Korean delegation failed to show up for a planning meeting with U.S. officials. That gave the White House cause for concern. A U.S. delegation is still actively making preparations, George. I'm told that this weekend they will be heading to Singapore. They're planning to head to Singapore where this meeting is taking place. But at this point, it is anyone's guess. Yeah, we'll see if the North Koreans show up for that. Meantime, Cecilia, on another front, on the legal front, a, a new move that could have consequences for President Trump. Uh, his former lawyer, Michael Cohen's business partner, a man named Evgeny uh, Friedman, has now said he's going to cooperate with prosecutors in a case here in New York. That could put more pressure on Mr. Cohen and eventually President Trump. Exactly. Uh, Friedman cut a deal and will serve no jail time in exchange for cooperating with state and federal investigators. That includes those prosecutors in New York involved in the Cohen case. This is a close business associate of Michael Cohen. Cohen, as we know, is already under a ton of pressure after that raid on his home and his offices. You know this, George. President Trump had boasted that Cohen wasn't the type of guy who would flip. We will see now. More pressure coming. Okay, Cecilia, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.